Welcome to my world. channel it is our Wednesday cleaning video if you're new welcome look for that subscribe word and smash on it don't get to smash on that bell if you've been around a while and haven't smashed on the bell yet please do so so you'll be notified for all my videos we have giveaways throughout the month we are looking for 25 people to give out one five items price pack from the Dollar Tree valued at 625 if you're new comment say hello you need to be subscribed in the US residence this goes for everybody if you won in the past 60 days, you have to wait out 60 days in order to win again. If you haven't answered me within two days and your name was called, you'll be disqualified. If it's something extreme, just talk to me, give me an email, countryboots1268 at yahoo.com, and we'll talk. That email is always down below with links to my Facebook page and group, as well as my Coffee Addicts group, Retro Shack group, which is 80s and 90s memorabilia as well as my photography page and Pinterest. I'm going to get cleaned up this morning. I'm going to take care of the kitchen. It's going to be nice today, not cold like it has been the past few days, unlike the rest of the U.S. I've got a ton of dishes to put away. Just a little bit in the sink. I'm going to wait and do the kitchen last because my husband wants to have breakfast. That way all the dishes get done at once. We had them cleaned out, but then my... 12 year old came in and made orange juice in the blender with banana and other fruit. So similar to a smoothie. I'm going to take care of my camera, post a photo of the moon, and some close ups of the scroll and blue jay. I'm going to look online for attention rods because my Dollar Tree has never carried them. And I want to get some kind of sheet or something just to cover that area up probably a brown to blend in with the woodwork laundry is going to go down in a little while as well as that cardboard box i was going to use it but i decided not to gonna fold some laundry get the bathroom cleaned up check on my gerbil take care of my coffee mug and do a full sweep and mop. Now I won't be able to do the kids' bedrooms because it is summertime now. You'll be. This is Wednesday. Thursday and Friday they'll be home all day unless they have work to start. So we'll get into Isabel's room when they're at work and then when Jacqueline's at a friend's house or up at the playground, I'll get into their room. Jacqueline's been doing really well keeping her room clean and nothing on the floors. Let's get started in the dining area. As I mentioned, I took a photo of the moon, uh, some blue jay with peanuts, and the squirrel this morning. They came out in groves. They were hungry from the cold, and they eat to keep warm, especially the birds. The laundry was done Saturday, and I never had a chance to get to it. I had to take pictures at an after party from Royal Service. Then we had Father's Day. We just got really busy. I don't always fold my laundry the same day. So we're going to get this done and tackle it. So it's empty and ready for the upcoming laundry. Because today is laundry day once again. We do it every other day. We're a family of four. My husband likes to put away his own clothes and bath towels and washcloths and rags I use for cleaning. Then I fold the children's clothes in mine and they put their clothes away. Occasionally, when they're home or not at work or school, they will help me fold and put things away. They just don't want to be on camera. So it does look like that I'm doing a lot of things by myself. Every day was Saturday. I just got to the basket. Now it's empty. 
and ready for the new clean clothes because it is laundry day once again. We usually do our laundry first thing in the morning or in the evening after six because it reduces your water bill and energy bill. And plus, in the summer months, you do not want to run your dryer between 12 and 6 because that's when the heat's going to rise and make your home hotter, especially if you're in an apartment and I'm on the top floor. It gets really warm up here. I'm in shorts a lot of the times. It's been really cold the past few days, unlike the rest of the U.S., as I mentioned. Cold enough, but not that cold where I'm going to put the heat on at the end of June. That's just not going to happen. I'll wear sweatpants before that happens. I hope all you dads and single moms and had a great Father's Day yesterday. Kudos for you. We had a really nice day yesterday. We had a, a prime rib dinner. We had bought a prime rib three months ago, big enough where we cut it into thirds for individual meals. And we did it in the air fryer. We had air fryer steak fries and some corn. It was awesome. And then our stewards had an ice cream cone sale. So we went to our stewards for ice cream for dessert later in the evening. And we took a family photo, which I'll share within this video, and it's available in the community. If you're subscribed or even unsubscribed, you see the picture, give it a like. I'm going to shake the rug out here and then take care of my coffee mug. My water bottle I keep by the lamp or on the coffee table because I drink water all day long. And take care of the couch. I've cut back on soda. I've lost 13 pounds, so I'm very proud of that. I walk about an hour a day, weather permitting. I'm going to get this floor fully swept. I'm going to sneak into Jacqueline's room while they're sleeping, so I'll disappear for a second. And then I'm also going to mop in there and get all their devices plugged in ready for today. To the mopping, I love this Swiffer from the Dollar Tree. No dirty, yucky mop head to have to wash and add on to your list of chores. And no buckets of water and you're saving energy and saving water. Again, I'm going to sneak into Jacqueline's room and it's very small L shape. We have a cleaning players list for you to check out so you can actually see the room. We do extreme cleanings in there as well. Check them out. Quick sweep in the dining area. I did it last night after dinner. There's not that much on the floor, so really well from dinner till bedtime. And then this morning, I'll take care of those clothes when everybody's awake and have them put them away. I'll put mine away in a little bit off camera because my husband works from home and I cannot record in that bedroom. Then we'll head into the bathroom and to the kitchen when Jacqueline is asleep. I sneak in and sweep and mop the floor because they don't normally wake up till about 11, 12 o'clock in the summer months or weekend. Make sure I have everything handy in here. Not very much on the floor because I did sweep last night after dinner before we went out for ice cream. Our Stewart's convenience store likes to do specials on holidays. So we got our dollar cones and I had a milkshake. I'm not really supposed to have ice cream, but if it's not very hot, I can have it and not get sick on it. On to the mopping. The floors needed it. I haven't mopped since last Wednesday. I do it a couple of times a week. Just a couple of times a week to get the floors clean and disinfected. For you, the bathtub is old and rusty, so I never clean it on camera. However, I have done the shower head with that trick where you put the bag over it and a recent video of hydrogen peroxide and how to use it to clean in your house. Really great ideas and tips. Check that out in my Clean With Me players list. I'm going to take care of the sink. The Comet will go into the basin of the sink to the toilet bowl only, and then I'll spray the outer part of the toilet with my LA Totally Awesome from Dollar Tree. My Comet goes right into the sink, the basin part, and then I wipe it down with a hot, wet washcloth, get underneath everything, including the faucets, and then we're going to clean the mirror. This is Dollar Tree's Windex version. It works very well. Ever wondered about the Dollar Tree version of Windex? Virtually no streaks. Nice clean mirror for the next person who comes in here. Now we're going to tackle the toilet. The toilet brush only goes into the bowl and the lip part and the part from the seat that touches the lip part. 
Then I use a clean, hot wet washcloth to wipe down with the Dollar Tree cleaner. It works very well. It kept COVID at bay when we had COVID in the house a couple of different times, and it didn't spread throughout the family. I'm going to wipe up the plunger real quick. Take care of the dishes in the dish drain as well as the sink. Then wash down the countertop, put away some produce and French bread. Then wash down the sink after we do the dishes. See if there's any prints or marks on the refrigerator. And take care of the garbage can. That bag's going to the senior center. Shut down the coffee maker. Wipe the countertop, the stove top, and the microwave. And do a sweep in the mop in the kitchen. So my shirt keeps lifting up a little bit. And it's a pain in the butt, but I love my Blockbuster t-shirt. Getting all these dishes put away, the air fryer tray, plates, bowls, cups. I use the tray or a large item to take all the utensils over to the other side of the kitchen. So I'm not going back and forth putting one fork away at a time. I just take the whole group of them and put them away all at once and it will save time and steps. On to the other countertop. You can take care of the coffee maker, dump out the grounds. Take care of the coffee pot, make sure it gets washed when we wash the dishes. Now I'm going to wipe down this area with a hot soapy sponge and using a clean tea towel, wipe up the soap. I'm going to wipe off the little hot plate and take care of the stove top and the microwave. I do the microwave every single day to keep it clean so it doesn't get all kinds of gross food stains on it. And then the stove top and pink in the oven. A great way to sneak in decluttering when you're putting away a ton of silverware and uh, cooking utensils. Take a few minutes like I am right now and just organize everything and make sure they're at easy grab and line of sight. Take care of your dish drain. If you don't have a dishwasher, wash it two, three times a week and underneath it because it gets gross. You don't want soap scum with clean dishes resting in it. Then we're going to take care of the dishes in the sink. My husband had his breakfast. Not too many things to do this morning. The blender from last night and then rinse out the coffee filter as well as the coffee pot with a little bit of hot soapy water. Not too much because it takes a long time to rinse it out and it's just a pain. Just a little bit is all it needs for the blender as well. And once we're done with everything, we're going to wash the sink down with a different sponge and soapy hot water. Going to get it taken care of. I do the walls as well as the food catchers and the drain area because you don't want your sink to smell, especially in the warm summer months. It's gross. Get rid of this rag and get a new one. I'm going to wipe down the garbage can so that way I'm not throwing out a sponge. You can wash your sponges if you wish, and you can wash your tea towels or rags that you use in the kitchen. I also nuke my sponges once a day. And after a few days, discard them and start a new one. I buy them at the Dollar Tree because they're the best price on the market, and I usually get a five pack. With that tea towel, I'm going to wipe down the garbage can and put it into the laundry. Now we're on to the countertop. I'm going to put the oranges into the crock pot. We're not using it today. Once the counter's washed, wipe it down with a clean tea towel. Finally, the floor. I'm going to do a full sweep in here, including the breezeway. Get it all cleaned up and then I'm going to grab the mop. I got my spray. It's the Bang from LA Totally Awesome from Dollar Tree. It works really well. I got to get a scrubby pot sponge to get some harder areas on the floor. I'll be doing that later this week. And then we're going to take care of the refrigerator door. And just wipe down some of the refrigerator door here, including the handles. You use it all the time. Slight smell in the sink this morning before I washed it. So I'm just going to put a couple of teaspoons in the sink to freshen it. I got this lemon juice at the Dollar Tree. We're done. Get the rest of the laundry put away. Mine in a little bit. Put my rug down. I'm going to turn off all the lights. We don't use the lights during the day unless we need them. And we use lamps rather than overhead. That will also save you money. 
and let this hang for a minute because it got a little wrinkled and the wrinkles fall right out. The bathroom's all done and the kitchen's cleaned up and ready for your next meal. For this video, we got it all done. We got it cleaned up, ready to go for the day. We have a kid coming over later and it'll be nice and clean. The floors are nice and mopped. I put some lemon juice in the sink. You can do lemon juice, vinegar, and baking soda if you wish. I just do lemon juice rather than using all those ingredients and spending money I don't need to. Wiped down the refrigerator door, which needed it, and I used a rag on my garbage can rather than a sponge because we use our sponge. Once it starts smelling, then we discard it. And we always have a clean sponge for sink and dishes and the wipe-up sponge, usually two to three. That saves you money by using the towels because they go right into your wash. Thank you for watching. Don't forget about the giveaways. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe button and that bell. Have a great day.